Hello, Drones and School teams. This is Tad Douse, the director for Drones and Schools, coming to you to talk a little bit about flight modes today. So we've had some questions about flight modes and want to explain how those work. Uh, the easiest way to talk about flight modes is to use Betaflight Configurator. So we have Betaflight here up on the screen. I've got my drone, my Tiny Hawk 3, and I've got my Emax transmitter here all ready to go. So to start off, I'm going to plug my drone in to Betaflight. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. And hopefully, if everything works like it should, it will connect. And there we go. And I'll see my drone represented there on the screen with that little model, which is great. So I know everything is connected. Uh, the place you usually go to look at your modes, your flight modes, is the modes tab. So I'm going to come down here to modes. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my transmitter so you can see what's happening. I'm going to back up one step before I do that. I'm going to go to my receiver tab. This is the first place I usually check to make sure everything is working so I can look at my uh, transmitter. So when I move my transmitter throttle, I can see the throttle goes up. If I move back and forth with my yaw, that will move that. If I move here, I have my pitch and my roll. And I can see there on the screen kind of what's going to happen to my drone. The only thing that doesn't show up is throttle. It doesn't really give you a uh, representation of that. But I can see my roll, pitch, yaw, and make sure that all those are working like they should, which that looks great. So once I'm sure everything's working, I'm going to come down here to modes. Now, the other thing that I have is I have my aux switches. So again, I'm going to back up here one second, go back to my receiver, and I'm going to talk about the aux switches. So the aux switches are these switches that are on my controller, these silver switches. All right, and when I flip those, I can see that this one here is called aux one. Uh, over here, this one's going to be aux two, and you'll notice with those, they have three different positions. When you look at the screen, you'll see that when it's in the up position, it's sending a signal of 980 to the drone. Now, it doesn't really matter too much, just understand that that's the signal it's receiving. If I put it in the middle, it's sending a 1500, and then if I go all the way up, it's sending a 2020 signal. Now, that should look familiar because you'll see the same um range here when i move my throttle so all the way at the bottom is 980 all the way up is 2020 and then in the center would be that 1500 so it's just kind of taking the same channel the same signal that it would send with the analog sticks it's translating that into uh, a signal that's controlled by a switch all right so hopefully that makes a little bit of sense uh, over here then i would have aux 2 it has three positions Back here, I have aux 3, which has two positions. It's a two-position switch, so I kind of got on or off, or 980, or 2020. And then on this corner, I have aux 4, which is my other side here. So I've got four different inputs that I can use to drive commands to my drone, and all that happens in this mode tab. So I go to mode. This is the default configuration for my drone, all right? So I can see that I have... Um, these modes. Now, if you have Betaflight Configurator and you do not have this turned on, you don't have hide unused modes, you'll see all the different modes you can configure. I like to just get rid of the ones I'm not using. just makes it simpler for me to understand it. Uh, this is just the ones that are currently configured. And according to this, it says my arm mode, or to arm my quad, that is on the aux one switch. So when I flip this little switch here, this is my aux one, remember from the last page. We'll see if I flip that, you'll see a little yellow indicator move, and it moves from that 980. So if you look at the scale here, we have 980 all the way up to 2020. And when I click that, it moves from that 980 up to 1500. When I flip it again, then it moves up to that 2020. And whenever that little indicator is inside of the range that I've identified here with these sliders, it's going to activate that mode. All right, so here I would not be armed, here I would not be armed, and then here I would be armed. All right, so the default configuration is this switch is my arm switch. The first one does nothing. The second one makes it armed. All right, let's talk about flight modes. My flight modes are controlled on aux 2. If you remember from the receiver tab, we know that this is my aux 2. 
So when I flip here, it's all the way up. I'm in the angle mode, and you'll see the angle mode is lit up yellow to let me know that that switch position would be angle. When I flip to the middle position, it moves it to that 1500 um, signal, and now I'm going to be in the horizon mode. So all the way up would be angle, and the middle would be horizon. And if I flip it all the way down, you notice it's not in angle, and it's not in horizon, which would mean it's in the the drone's default mode, which is rate, okay? So that would be our rate mode. Now, most of the time, for most of our pilots, they like to kind of learn in horizon or angle, all right? So I would recommend kind of staying in one of those two. The last thing we have is we have our uh, beeper, which is on um, auxiliary four. So if I flip that, I would turn on my beeper. I don't have a battery in right now, but if I flip that with a battery in, it'll just start beeping. My drone will beep um, forever till I flip it off. And that's really used if you lose your drone. So if you're flying around your school and like, oh my gosh, I don't know where it went. Um, we had a, a incident that uh, one of our students lost it in the light fixtures in our cafeteria. And so we had to use the beeper to track down which light fixture they flew in because they all kind of looked the same. And the last one here is flip over after crash. We'll talk about that in another video. That's kind of a neat thing. It's called turtle mode. So if your drone is upside down, you can use that to flip it over so you don't have to run out on the course and, and flip it over by hand or, or run to a different room and flip it over. You can do it right here from the controller. So those are your different modes. Now, you can change these, all right? You have full configuration to change these to whatever you want them to be, but just understand that whatever I put here in Betaflight is what I'm going to then need to remember on my controller. It's one reason in our rules we always have you mark your arm switch with a piece of red tape. That way you remember which one is your arm switch. One thing that I like to do is I like to have my arm switch be activated when it's in the middle. Okay, so I like to have it all the way up, I usually like my default for my drone is all my switches up and back. It's just easy for me to remember. I flip them all the way up, flip them all the way back, and that's where I start. Then all I have to know is I flip one switch to arm, and then I'm ready to, to fly. So what I like to do, again, is I don't like this having two positions to flip to arm. I like my arm in the middle. Uh, the main reason I like that, again, it's all personal preference. You can do whatever you like. But the way I like it that way is that way, no matter what happens, when I flip that switch either direction, I don't have to think about it, it would be disarmed. So to make that change, all I would have to do is move these sliders so that they would be inside that range when this little switch is flipped. Okay, so then that would be armed, this would be disarmed, and this would be disarmed. So only the middle would be the armed. Now you'll notice right now, that it still seems like it's armed when it's in this last position, which is where it was. And you would think, well, you changed it. You moved the sliders, so why is it not seem to be working like it should? Well, that's because I didn't save it. Every time in beta flight, you have to save it. Uh, it's a great little feature, that way you don't mess something up mistakenly. But once you're sure you, it's the way you want, you hit save. Once I hit save, now when I flip the switch, now I'm armed in the middle, I'm disarmed at the top, I'm disarmed at the bottom. So only the middle would be my armed part of my drone. Same thing with flight mode. If you decide, you know what, I only want horizon mode. Maybe horizon's all I need, I never need anything else. I can, if I want, I can just get rid of angle, and then I can move horizon so that no matter where that switch is, okay, it's going to be in horizon mode. Right? It doesn't really matter where it is in that range. It's going to be in horizon. So I can go ahead and hit save. And then it doesn't matter where I flip that switch. It's going to be in horizon mode. Now, one other thing you can do to make it even a little simpler yet, I can control my arm and my mode with a single switch. So I can change this to be aux one. So now when I hit save, Aux 1 moves and it would be disarmed in horizon mode, armed in horizon mode, disarmed in horizon mode. So I would always be in horizon mode, right? So it's an easy way 
to make it very simple. And then this gives you another switch. You can use this switch for something else. You can use it for your beeper or flip over after crash, whatever you want, or you can just ignore it and not worry about it. So all kind of different options you have here for configuring your drone, okay? Um, this is a great place to start with a configuration like this. This is one we kind of recommend to, to get you going. And then once you start getting better at flying, if you want to add in the rate mode, then you can easily add that switch back in or reinstall to the default uh, mode by doing a CLI dump, which is in our video series. Plenty of options there for you to figure out. So there's some basics of flight modes and how you set those up on your quad. And good luck.